Hey guys, Mr. here again for another video today, and we are back for another Can They Win the Stanley Cup? And in this one, we will see if the, uh, <laughs> if the uh, best defenseman can win the Stanley Cup. So yep, this team is going to be filled with complete defensemen, and it is a 98 overall team. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I've ever substituted Anaheim while doing this series. So that's why I am uh, substituting Anaheim, although I don't think any of their players did make the team. Um, I don't think so, because uh, highest uh, or lowest overall is 90, or sorry, 87, uh, 87 overall, which obviously is not bad. But, um, yeah, and I think the highest overall defenseman is Cam Fowler, and he's an 86 on Anaheim. So, uh, yeah, nobody on Anaheim is actually going to make it, but uh, that's okay. Now, we actually have a few defensemen with pretty decent face-offs, especially four defensemen. Like, John Klingberg has the highest on the team, and he will more than likely be our first-line center. Um, with, I think it was 90, or not, sorry, not 90, um, 70 or 71 or 72 face-offs, which really isn't bad. Uh, now, as we load this up, I'm going to take a drink because my throat's really dry, but uh, let's get a quick look at this team real quick. Okay, so 99 offense, 100 defense, and 92 goaltending. So for the goaltending, what I decided to do was just take the... Um, the best goalies, uh, or the best goalies in the league, so the ones with the lowest save percentage, and, or, well, the best save percentage and the best GAA, not lowest save percentage, but you, you know what I mean. So, Ristolainen, uh, the only reason why he makes the team is because he actually has decent face-offs. Uh, the majority of the defensemen here had about 55 or 50, as you can see. Um, so, yeah, there were a few defensemen that actually did have decent face off so Zach Wierenski was another one of them now let's go to defense I want to put in so let's see who was the other one I think it was Burns yeah it was Burns and Klingberg uh, if I'm not mistaken oh Klingberg actually has 68 my bad so let's uh put Klingberg here on that top line center spot and then we're also going to add Brent Burns in there Actually, he'll be our top line center just because, you know, he is the best one there, which means we have to take Burns out. Ah, um, Burns needs to be taken out for who? Uh, I'm assuming we have scratch defenseman Dougie Hamilton. Okay. And then Klingberg needs to be taken out for who? Is Vlasic there? Uh, yes, he is. Um, I am not sure who, ah, uh, okay, wait, best lines, let's scratch, um, Wierenski, okay, and we'll also scratch Ristolainen, there we go, and as for defenseman, we will scratch, uh, Burns, and we will also scratch Klingberg, there we go, so, starting lineup, will have Doughty be taken out for uh, Burns. There we go. And then we'll have Ekman Larson taken out for Klingberg. Let's put Klingberg in there. And then we'll take out Keith for, uh, let's see, for, um, we'll go with Wierenski. And then our fourth line center will be Rasmus Ristolainen. Uh, no less Dougie Hamilton, Erasmus, Ristolainen, there we go. And then on the wing, we will add, uh, let's go to our scratch players, we'll add Drew Doughty. Uh, we will also add, um, let's see, Duncan Keith. Okay, so let's just move them up in the lineup. Uh, Doughty's going to be on that top line with uh, Iosi and Burns. We're going to have Latang, Klingberg, and Subban, then Gosses, Bear, Wawrenski, and Keith, Vlasic, Ristolainen, and Weber. That fourth line is not going to put up like any points. Uh, for our actual defensemen, we're going to have um, uh, Petrangelo and Carlson, uh, uh, Victor Hedman, and Oliver Ekman Larson, and then Seth Jones playing with Ryan Suter. So, uh, 
And yeah, like I said, our goalies are the ones who just played, or how's the best save percentage and uh, GAA in the game right now, which is Hudden and Flurry. So that was uh, way long overdue. Now we also have 100 offense, 100 defense. Nice. So yeah, that took uh, way longer than expected. So let's peace to April. And uh, I'll see you guys hopefully in the playoffs. Let's see. Take your pick. Do you think we'll make the playoffs? I think we will. Uh, I'm going to check the face-off stats by the end of this season because I think that would be quite interesting to see. I mean, I highly doubt anybody would have a good face-off rating on our team, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, my like I said, my throat is really dry, guys, so I'm going to take another drink. It's going to be a little bit longer, though, this time. Just one second. Very unprofessional of me. I am sorry, but... Uh, you know what? It happens. It happens. And I just really don't want to take cuts. Uh, it just takes way longer to upload my videos, to actually upload the videos after I put them in to uh, my editing software. And it's just not a fun time. So normally, more than likely, my, uh, my gameplay or whatever you guys want to call it, my videos are uh, more than likely... Uh, raw and uncut. There are times where I do cut them, um, but yeah, like I said, it just doesn't happen very often. So, boys, let's uh, let's go through this and let's find um, let's find our notepad for all of the challenges we have done. We're gonna need a second page here soon. We're getting close to it. So, the best defenseman um, in the league. Uh, I'm just going to write defense, because why not? So, defense, uh, we'll see what their record is. We'll see if they can win the cup. And we'll see where they finish in the league, uh, possibly first. I mean, look at this record right now. Before the deadline, we're 42-16-4. and four. That's pretty damn good. So, uh, we'll, we'll see if we make it. So... Last time we were actually able to win the cup, it was with the most expensive team, uh, which is pretty crazy. It's been quite a while. Uh, in the last four episodes, we have not been able to win the Stanley Cup. So like I said, hopefully we can in this one. Now let's see. We've won it one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight times out of... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 times. We haven't even hit double digits yet in wins, right? 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, okay, so I did count right, and it was 8. So let's, uh, I just simmed game 1 by accident. So hopefully we can get a win here. Let's see, what was our record? 58, 20, and 4. Um, I'd be very, very shocked if that was not first in the league. I mean, it's a possibility, but I highly doubt it. Anyways, we'll go and check that out after. Let's start simming through uh, the series. So game one, I already simmed by accident, my bad. So let's sim game number two now. Uh, four nothing shutout win for us. So they shut us out in game one, then we shut them out in game two. Both games being four to nothing. Game number three we lose. Uh, one to nothing game and number four we win. A pretty even series so far for the defenseman. Game number five we then win. Game number six we also win, and we will move on to the second round of the playoffs. Not too bad. Good job, boys. Come on. Like I said, let's get a win here. i got to get double digits soon here for this series. So we take on San Jose, who went to Game 7 in Round 1. We lose to them in Game 1. We also lose to them in Game 2. Game number 3, we then win. Game 4, we win. All right. Game 5, we win as well. Game 6, we could eliminate them, and we do. We move on to the Western Conference Finals to face the Minnesota Wild. Interesting. Game number one, 
we lose seems to be a common theme. Game number two, we win, though, to even up the series. And we take the lead in game number three, 2 1 series lead. 3 1 series lead over Minnesota now. And we move on to face the Columbus Blue Jackets in the Stanley Cup final, who has the exact same record as us. Who will get 16 wins, though? Let's see, Columbus down uh, 1 0 in the series, but they tie it in game two. Game number three, we lose as well. Game number four, we lose again. So just because we are on the verge of elimination, let's see if we can go in here and, uh, and, and win this game. First period of game five, we're up 1-0 after one. Game number two, or sorry, not game number two, period number two. Carlson, Ristolainen score for us, then Bjorkstrand and Wenberg score for Columbus. Now going into the third period, we win game number five. And uh, we force the game six. Good job, Flower. You beauty. All right, so like I said, we force game six in the Stanley Cup final. Let's bring this back and hopefully be able to uh, force a game seven. Let's go. Game number six now. First period. 1-1 uh, one, one. Hedman and Atkinson with the goals. Second period now. We're up 2-1. Eric Carlson uh, makes it 2-1. Third period of game six, Wierenski with the tying goal, but unfortunately it wasn't our Wierenski who scored, it was theirs, so we're now in overtime, which uh, we could get eliminated here. Power play for us, although we were unable to convert. Uh, look at the shots compared to theirs. I feel like that's a common theme for our team. I feel like we outshoot them a lot just because of how good defensively our defense team would be, looking like we may head to double overtime and we will. It will end early, guys. Let's see. Who's it going to? It will go to your defense. And Latang with, I believe, a second goal of the game. No, sorry. That was the game before. My bad. But uh, nice. Nice. 44 saves for Bobrovsky there. Interesting. And we have forced game seven. Both teams with a record of 15 and 8. Who will get that 16th win? Who will get that ninth loss? Let's, uh, let's see, boys. Game uh, game number seven of the final. Let's see. First period. We're up 1-0. P.K. Subban scores on Bobrovsky. Second period. We're up 2-1. Doughty and Atkinson with goals for each team. Let's see. Can we move on? Oh, no, we will not. Well, not yet, at least. Tie game now. Oliver Brockstrand with the tying goal. And... Uh, well, we may head to overtime. It's tied 2-2. Never mind, though. Alex Petrangelo re-gives us the lead. And uh, a couple minutes left. 36 seconds left. We're going to head in, and we're going to watch the Stanley Cup celebration. Brent Burns is our captain. Interesting. 94 offense, 95 defense, 95 goaltending for the Columbus Blue Jackets. That is really, really good. That is crazy. So, uh, yeah, boys, I'm going to play this because uh, from what I know of, I'm pretty positive it's a true statement. Um, when you aren't playing, you don't actually get to see the celebration or you don't get to see the whole celebration. So I do want to uh, head in and do that. Let's see, Klingberg, can he get us a face-off win? Let's find out. Can he? No, he can't. I tried. I really did. Uh, let's see. I'm really not that great of a player, guys, so just don't judge. Yeah, B Bjork Strand actually just tied the game. All right, well, since that happened, uh, where do I go to do this? Manage teams? No, not manage teams. Settings, then I'm assuming. Select sides. There we go. So since they scored, we're going to head over uh, to be the computer. <laughs> and uh, Well, not the computer, but we will be the viewer, and we will see... We'll see. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I cannot believe that. I, I really don't like this game sometimes, because um, this just seems to happen f on me all the time. Just a bad player comes in. No offense to Bjorkstrand, a bad player just comes in and rips one past my really good goalie. It happens all the time, and I don't get it. Like why? And I can't skip anything either. So we just have to stick with it. So let's see. Burns, can he get a face-off win? Let's find out. I'm going to refresh again. 
while we're here just because Bjorkstrand with the puck looking for the hat trick Wierenski takes a shot Petrangelo to Carlson Carlson skating up the center of the ice passes it to Burns on his way and Carlson to Burns and they just keep passing it back and forth Burns trying to find Yossi in the middle was unable to do so and six seconds remaining Panarin coming in with Wenberg two seconds left a block shot from I want to say Petrangelo yes it was Petrangelo not too bad all right we now head to uh so over time I was trying to pause it there because usually that skips everything is there we go now overtime period let's uh let's get it going boys we will send the overtime period i really hope this doesn't take too long uh especially not if we lose that would be quite upsetting come on boys yet to see our team win a face-off will it happen i wonder if uh there's been games before where we've just never won a face-off i mean it wouldn't surprise me that's for sure because, I mean, obviously they're defensemen. They're not really uh, meant to take face-offs. So, Burns coming down on the uh, left wing. He's got two players in front. That was a nice sauce. If that had got through to Doughty, uh, that could have most definitely been a goal. Let's see. Panarin with the puck to Bjorkstrand looking for his hat trick to win Columbus the Stanley Cup. That would be quite something. Petrangelo now up the left wing boards with Wierenski the only man in front of him. He curls back to Burns. Burns loses the puck. Burns back to Petrangelo. Petrangelo back to Burns. Burns cuts in, pass in front, but what a great defensive play by Wierenski. Doughty had a man open in front. It was Yossi. Burns takes the shot, and he scores, and we won the Stanley Cup, boys. Here we go. Captain Brent Burns with the cup win, and that is win number nine of the series nice not too bad boys uh <laughs> yeah good job boyos pretty pretty damn good there we go so obviously we will see our captain who is um burns right i believe yeah it was burns so uh we'll see him uh go out and do the windberg kind of looks like jenner there that that did not look very good um sorry guys i just had to take another drink it's been rough it has been rough. Don't know why my throat's so dry, but uh, who's hyped about another Stanley Cup win? I know I am, guys. Quite uh, quite the big dub over here. Let's see now. Can we, uh, can we hurry up a little bit, please? I mean, like, can anything happen here? I don't want to see this. I just want to see the actual cup. Good job. Good job, boyos. Freaking beast. Uh, let's see. Hurry up, boys. Come on. There we go. Flurry with the uh, Con Smythe. 919 save percentage. That is rough. That is a pretty poor Con Smythe. Um, or Con Smythe winner. I wonder who led the team in points. Oh, I have to check stats after all of this, too. This is going to be a long can they win the Stanley Cup video. Unreal. That's not going to be good. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, come on, boys. Hurry up. Hurry up. This, uh, as much as I do like the new celebration, this celebration just really takes way too long, man. Unreal. Burns kind of looks like Chara. He just, he just kind of does. Uh, <laughs> lift that Stanley Cup, buddy. Will he ever get a cup? Hey, that could be another guy I could do. For, uh, can they win the Stanley Cup for? Bren Burns, he's never won a cup. Will he ever win a cup? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. San Jose, not looking too great out there. Although, like I said, it could happen. Um, I don't know. It, like I said, it could happen. But uh, uh, who's got the cup now? Five? Wierenski is number five right now. Um, interesting. Who's eight? Oh, it's Doughty. Yeah, Doughty is eight. That's why I was gonna say. I'm like, who is uh, who's number eight? But yeah, Doughty takes priority just because he is higher overall. Good job, though, Wierenski, you beauty. And then it goes to Flurry with his fourth Stanley Cup ring. Also, Latang. You forgot about Latang. I have four Stanley Cup rings for those two freaks. Unreal. Um. 
Stamas four Stanley Cups. Imagine that. That would be quite a big dub, right? Right, right? Wouldn't you guys want to win four Stanley Cups? Uh, Petrangelo's our assistant, and then uh, I was looking at Hedman, and I said Petrangelo, but Petrangelo actually is our other assistant, so my bad. Didn't mean to say that, but, you know. Um, let's check the three stars. Doughty and uh, Subban were our... There were two of the three stars for us, Bjorkstrand. Obviously, the other one with two goals to his name. Um, what a beast he was in that game. Uh, like, honestly, though, he could have honestly... Could have honestly uh, uh, totally won, uh, or won them the game with a hatcher goal. That would have been really sad, though. I'm not going to lie. That would have really sucked for us. So... Let's go and check out some stats now. This is going to take a little while. Uh, let's see. I just went back to the calendar. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's go down to Stats Central. There we go. So let's see. Did we finish first in the league? I mean, like I said, I'd be shocked if we did not. And we did. All right. So pretty perfect season over here for the boys. We, uh, we won the cup. We came first. And had the best record uh, on the team as well, or on the team in the record as in the record. Fuck, man, I'm really trying. Whatever. Okay, Burns with the most points on the team with 43 goals. What a beautiful man. 43 goals is quite a lot. <laughs> Not gonna lie, especially as a defenseman. We had four 20 goal scores, uh, five actually. Carlson, Doughty, Yossi, and uh, Gossesbear. Carlson only had 43 points. That is rough. Um, interesting, though. Um, can I see face-off stats here? Um, face-offs won. Nice. <laughs> not, honestly, that's not too bad. 642 wins in 1,042. 40.2% 40 really isn't that bad. Uh, let's see. So the ones that were actually taking face-offs. Klingberg, 44.5%. Obviously, that's not too bad. Vlasic took a lot. I didn't have Vlasic playing center. He took a lot of face-offs. 41.6% for him. Burns, 40.2. Ristolainen, 39.9. Wierenski, 38.4. Carlson took a lot as well, 38.1. Interesting. Um, I was about to sort it by forwards, but yeah, you know, doesn't actually matter. So, yeah, let's see. Most assists went to Klingberg with 41. Best plus minus? Who did that go to? Let's see. It went to uh, Petrangelo with a plus 46. That's really good. Goalies, Flurry with a 931 and a 1.82. I mean, that could seriously be Vesna. Uh, like I said, honestly, like, Flurry might win the Vesna. Like, let's be real, guys. If you've looked at his stats, he seriously could win the Vesna. So, most wins. Went to uh, went to Vasilevsky. Let's sort it by like 40 games here. And there we go. We'll sort it by uh, 40 games played. His best save percentage went to Holtby. Although his GAA wasn't as good as Flurry, I think Flurry definitely could take home the best. Now and we'll see if he does. Uh, that would be interesting. Well, none of our players would be uh, there. Let's see. Burns. He was around top 20, I'd say. Top 25, maybe in the league there he is burns nice how was he for scoring he was a uh, top seven for scoring not too bad good job buddy let's go check our defense or not our defense but the defense in the league Hedman with the most points at 79 our burns did come in second i mean maybe burns could win it but i highly doubt it uh Hedman had more points he also had a better plus minus the only reason why I think Burns could take it is because of uh, how many goals he scored. Although, to be fair, he did better on the power play. Uh, he had way more game-winning goals. He took a lot more shots. He didn't play near as much time on ice. And he had a much bigger role, though. He's playing first-line center. Uh, who knows, guys? Who knows? I'm not going to check rookie skaters for the main fact that... Um, it doesn't actually matter because I've edited players in this uh, or on this in this world of uh, franchise mode, I guess. So uh, the actual Calder winner is probably Nico Ish here. 
Uh, but Cup, obviously we won. We also won the Presidents. We went to the final against Columbus. Art Ross went to Kucherov. Hart went to Kucherov. Norris went to Hedman, as I expected. Lady Bing also went to Kucherov. He also won the Calder. The so-called Calder, not actually him. Fleury won the Conn Smythe, and he did not win the Vesna. Ah, that sucks. I think maybe because Holtby played so many more games, like 20 more games, I think it was. Uh, maybe that's why he won it. Vesna went to Holtby, though. We uh, we won the Jennings, though. Uh, Fleury and Hutton, they split the Jennings together. Bill Masterton to, went to Markham a thought. Uh, Stahl with the Selkie, Ted Lindsay to Kucherov, and Ovi with the Maurice Richard. Let's go check our player stats in the playoffs. Most points went to Klingberg at 19. Not too bad. Most goals went to Latang with 9. Nice. Let's see. How did our goalies do? I mean, Fleury really didn't do that great in the playoffs. Um, I mean, they just definitely could have been better there. And last but not least, I will end it off here for you guys. Here is the uh, the playoff bracket and the playoff tree, I guess. Thank you all so much for watching once again, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.